What's up and welcome to K Plus Gaming Corner and in this Outriders video I'm experimenting a bit with an idea I had where I wanted to see if I could put together a firepower devastator that takes full advantage of this character's greatest asset which is making enemies bleed. Between a few of the patch tree nodes that make any gun you're using inflict the bleed status and also being able to replenish a portion of your magazine automatically on kill shots, I was able to turn this into what I call bloody rounds similar to blighted rounds causing toxic effects or volcanic rounds lighting enemies on fire. This plus the extra 50% extra damage to enemies afflicted with bleed we get from the set bonus, I think I've cooked up a fun and very different way to play your typical seismic commander devastator. This build works really well in expeditions, you'll fly through at a fast pace, it works well enough in trials, although it won't be the fastest when trying to take down the arbiters. Getting right into it and looking at the skills first, I'm using Earthquake, Golem, and Boulder Dash. As mentioned, we're using the Seismic Commander set that gives you an extra 50% increase in damage towards enemies bleeding, and that's both bullet damage and anomaly. The thing about the Seismic set is going with that means you're going to have to use either Earthquake or Impale since those are the majority of the mods that come with this set. I chose Earthquake since we can get some of those mods to synergize nicely with what we're trying to do. As for our weapons, I've been going back and forth between the Mythos Light Machine Gun and the Air to the Desert Assault Rifle. Haven't decided which one I like better since both have their strengths. You can let me know in the comments which you choose or if you'd have a better option. The Mythos comes standard with Omen which launches an anomaly projectile that can go through walls and it inflicts bleed. Now our gun is already inflicting bleed so that's not a benefit but the projectile itself does do decent damage and more importantly this mod debuffs as it applies a status that causes enemies hit with the projectile to take 10% more damage for 3 seconds, extremely useful. This gun also came with ultimate bone shrapnel which also does decent damage and helps spread the bleeding effect to other enemies within a 5 meter radius. I included ultimate damage link here because it's a mod I like using, but feel free to try some other mods out like Claymore Torrent, Dimensional Rockets, Ravenous Locust, Violent Rupture, or maybe something like Fortress could also work really well here. As mentioned, I'm also using an Air to the Desert, which I like for the extra status power you get when this gun is equipped. Plus, Sandstorm is a great mod to use, and I've also had Strings of Gauss as my top damage dealer on a number of expeditions. I included Ultimate Damage Link here as well, but that's just my preference, so experiment as you like, that's always encouraged. As usual, we have the Anamoy as our secondary weapon so we can mix in Moaning Winds and Radiation Splash. Both will often be at the top of your stats when looking at your sources of damage at the end of expeditions. Skipping the pistol and moving to our gear, I'm using a Seismic Commander helmet that rolled with Anomaly Echo for some extra firepower and Anomaly power, and it comes with Blood Shock which allows your Earthquakes to cause bleed. Now this might not be as necessary since we're getting bleed from so many other sources, but it doesn't hurt and we're kind of forced to use certain Earthquake mods using this set and getting that set bonus. I included Captain Hunter which is always helpful in taking down bosses and elites faster. I'm using a purple chess piece with the attributes bonus firepower and cooldown reduction. I would have rather close range damage as opposed to long range damage, but the chess piece still works since it comes with primal armor, helping to boost the damage we're getting from the overwhelming force pack strain node, and then we get Earth's legacy increasing the range of our earthquakes by 60%. Since we have to use earthquake anyway, and our earthquakes are causing bleed, we might as well take advantage and be able to hit as many enemies with our earthquakes as we can while we're using it. I included Armor Boost which grants a decent amount of armor per enemy hit with the Earthquake, another way we're adding to the Overwhelming Force node that's weaponizing our Golem, but I'll get to Overwhelming Force later. I'm using the Seismic Commander's Leg Armor which comes standard with Tainted Blood for a 16% damage boost to enemies bleeding, which in addition to our set bonus we're now up to 66% damage increase in total to enemies afflicted with bleed. These pants came with Golem Squad, increasing the skills duration by 20% and giving some Golem protection to your teammates as well. And then I included Primal Chain so when we boulder dash into crowds of enemies, those enemies are taking 15% more damage. I actually initially had Bloody Boost here for another 8% increase in damage to bleeding enemies, but felt like things were running a little smoother when I switched in Primal Chain. Feel free to let me know which one I should go with or if there is a better option elsewhere. I went with the Seismic Commander's Gloves, which came with Arms and Anomaly, which is decent enough, it's not a dead mod, but we don't really need the Anomaly boost here since that's not really our focus in this build. These were just the only Seismic Commander Gloves I had laying around, and I wanted that set bonus. I'm also stuck with the Asunder mod since I'd already switched out Ground Crush, which the gloves also come with, 
would have been nice for some extra damage, but we're not using Earthquake for its damage here since it's playing more of a support role and Asunder isn't a dead mod since it is helping reduce our enemy's resistance by 30% when hit with the Earthquakes. I added Primal Chain Gun here so our boulder dash is also increasing our weapon damage by up to 100% as long as we're hitting as many with our dash as we can manage per activation of the skill. I'm using purple boots with the attributes bonus firepower, skills life leech, and cooldown reduction and they came with bleeding impulse so now our golem becomes another source of inflicting bleed since it spreads that every 2 seconds in a 10 meter radius. I added golem of death to help extend the duration of golem by 1.5 seconds per enemy kill maximizing the uptime of mods like bleeding impulse and also the overwhelming force node and these boots rolled with death's door which is doubling your armor whenever your health drops below 35%. Looking at the class tree, we're totally up top with some key nodes being champion for a 45% increase in weapon damage whenever you use any skill, assault master for a 20% increase in assault weapon damage, bounty hunter for a 15% increase in damage to elites, as well as them dealing 15% less damage to you, and we end with altered charge so whenever our boulder dash ends, we're getting a really nice 70% increase in weapon damage that lasts for 10 seconds. For the patch tree, we're also up top, starting with Hunting Season for a 30% increase in weapon damage and also an increase by 50% to our magazine size, so you'll have a lot more ammunition at your disposal, which combined with Finishing Touch, you'll almost never have to worry about running out of ammo or even reloading as killing shots replenish 35% of your magazine. Your gun will almost always be full, and as you do shoot and spend some of it, your weapon damage is increasing more and more based on the amount of ammo missing from your current round. Strange Surgeon is why I call this a bloody rounds build since now your gunshots are inflicting bleed and then as I've mentioned many times now overwhelming force is going to be key for this build since our golem will be releasing powerful seismic impulses every two seconds where the damage dealt is scaling with the amount of armor we have available at a given time and we're ramping up and doubling our armor in multiple ways so this makes overwhelming force extremely effective as long as you're not afraid to be up and in close with enemies. With the ascension points, the keys here will be weapon damage, close range damage, and some extra armor piercing. You always want some extra anomaly damage and status power, and some anomaly power can't hurt. Some extra armor is also helpful for this build, and you'll want to put some points into damage against elites, critical chance, and critical damage. The rest is up to you to fill in as you see fit. That's the build. This is more of an experiment that went really well trying on a seismic commander bullet build instead of anomaly. Pretty good hybrid build if I may say so myself. Coming up, I need to stop getting so sidetracked and get to my Marshall set build, so look out for that one, as well as some alternative Technomancer builds you might want to consider. If you like these sorts of videos, a like and a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated, and if you want to see more whenever they drop, then make sure you're subscribed. Also, let me know in the comments what crazy ideas you're cooking up as I'm always up for trying new things. And with that, until next time, peace.